What up, though? Welcome to Gangsta's Paradise. This is where I kick cautionary street tales. Click that subscribe button, click the like button, and click that little bell. That way you can get notifications whenever I drop an episode. I appreciate y'all checking out the show. You know, I always like to look at the comments. And this past week, I've been having conversations on Vlad TV with his audience because Mr. Curry of the almighty Curry Brothers is a guest on his show. You guys can check out the conversation. Um, Because Mr. Curry is a guest on Vlad TV, I had a sudden surge with my Family Cartels 1 video. So you guys can go back there and check it out. But it's been very interesting. Different people we've been chatting back and forth on Vlad TV. I also want to send a shout out to the Latin Counts. I want to thank the Latin community. They've been reaching out to me. They made a request for a Latin Counts video. I will be coming with that soon. This episode is all about taking it back down south to the city of Atlanta, Georgia and freckle face Sean. Now, the city of Atlanta is really doing big things down there. And I've inter- interviewed several people on my podcast from Atlanta, Georgia. And it has a pretty rich history on many things. It's the home of Coca-Cola. You have Tyler Perry Studios. You have franchise reality shows there. And definitely the music scene. You know, they got a lot of great artists that come from out of that city. A lot of historical, legendary artists that come out of that city. So they have a real rich music scene down there. Historically and right now today, they really been holding the hip-hop game forever. And then um, a lot of celebrities, people that really want to get out of their city, they really want to get out of their situations in their local cities. You know, a lot of people become artists, but their foot be stepping, stuck in the game, and they want to get away from that. They may go to Atlanta, Georgia, so they can really feel like they are celebrities. Um, that may be a problem in certain situations because some of those times they bring a lot of that drama with them. So. It's from talking to people from down there. They feel like a lot of the criminal elements come from everywhere else and they bring it to Atlanta. And, but then on the flip side of that, people really look at Atlanta as really growing into like this international city. It's a lot of industries moving down there in the area. It's basically a 24 hour city. Um, they constantly, constantly building down there. So there's a lot of great things that goes on in Atlanta, Georgia. But then, like everywhere else, it has its dark side. It has its crimes. It has its dope boys. It got its pimps. It got its gangs. And when you look at that side of it, you know, it's, it's filtered out through music. You can see it on documentaries. And like I said, I've interviewed several people from down there in Atlanta. You know, it pretty much described how Atlanta worked. You know, a lot of those guys, that was on my show, they were a product of their environment. So when you look at Atlanta, Georgia, you had crews like BMF working out of there. And then, you know, you had sections like um, 4L. You got GDs down there. It's a population of Bloods, Vice Lords, Crips, Latin Kings. You know, and that's where the terminology trap come from. That's also uh, where use, the uses of Pyrex. When you're cooking up dope, you know, people made nowadays use Pyrex, but that originally was an Atlanta thing, you know. You know, so it has its dope boys and gangsters down there for sure, but then you have other gangsters that's coming to that city because now it's like an international city. So when you look at Freckle Face Sean, this is the biggest drug bust in the history of Atlanta. This guy right here supposedly is doing it big. Of course, it looks like this case is still pending, so I'm not gonna say this guy is this or this guy is that. 
So I came across this story. I found it to be interesting. And then when you look at the images that they show, when you go into the story, it just amazing me to look at that shipment that they got, supposedly got from this guy, Freckle Face Sean. And I want to remind everyone, and I must be clear on this, this is intervention and prevention. We don't want to make the next Freckle Face Sean. I'd rather see our young people be executives. And that's for real. Antonio Deshaun Daniels has been indicted on federal charges related to the possession with the intent to distribute heroin, cocaine, and marijuana and possession of a firearm and furtherance of drug trafficking. And you will, when you look at Freckle Face Sean, apparently he spent time in the feds and the prison system is a place where a lot of people make connections at. I'm not saying he got this connection when he got in the feds, but you know, a lot of people go on there and they come get right back on the grind. They go right back to hustling. This poly drug trafficker brazenly continued his drug trafficking activity despite having served time in federal prison for drug distribution. According to U.S. Attorney Pat, the charges and other information presented in court in October 2019, federal agents uncovered ledgers from a Mexico-based drug trafficking organization showing that Daniels received just over 1,000 kilograms of cocaine between August 2018 and October 2019. The ledgers reflect that Daniels returned more than 31 million in drug proceeds to the organization that were eventually transported to Mexico. And it's reported that Hitch Connect was a guy they call El Mencho. El Mencho is another interesting character who reached his peak at 50 years old, identified as the leader of the new generation, Jalisco Cartel. El Mencho became the most wanted man in Mexico and the United States. Apparently, they still looking for that guy, Quintero, who they said was responsible for the death of that DEA agent. So, El Mencho is one of the top most wanted person in America and Mexico. It's interesting. One of the other interesting things that, that really trips me out when it comes to the underworld is all these fancy names all these gangsters got. They got these fancy names for these cartels, cliques and crews and gangs and all that. It's just interesting. It's, it's like you can't hustle without this, this super fancy name. Like Freckle Face Sean, which is understandable because you got freckles in his face. During the investigation, Federal agents identified multiple apartments and homes in the metro Atlanta area that Daniels allegedly used to prepare and distribute drugs. On July 27, 2020, agents executed federal search warrants at those locations, which resulted in Daniels' arrest and the seizure of a large amount of drugs, money, and weapons. Inside the studio apartment in Atlanta, agents found approximately 28 kilograms of heroin six kilograms of cocaine, eight kilograms of marijuana, and more than one million in cash. There were 41 firearms stashed throughout the apartment. That's one of the things I say about drugs. Even when we was uh, bringing the birds in, that was one of the things we always complained about was hiding this stuff. You really just can't hide this stuff. It's just too much. Like, where are you gonna put this stuff? Like, we often complain about that. And my buddy, you know, he used to joke back then, that if the dogs came in here, the dogs would just start barking as soon as they get to the door of the apartment, you know. But that's one of the things about this stuff. It's really hard to, to hide these shipments. They also found kilo presses. Uh, what are y'all doing? Rewrapping the packages. Scales, strainers, white powder residue, money, money counters. So he had all this stuff down in this one apartment as they reported and said. You know, this will happen with the raid. Inside a home in Atlanta, they found 142 kilograms of heroin and four kilograms of cocaine. In total, they got 170 kilograms of heroin, 10 kilograms of cocaine, 
eight kilograms of marijuana and more than one million in cash and 41 firearms. And El Mencho and the Jalisco drug cartel. No, they, they're just one of those cartels that fight for power down there in Mexico, you know. Those guys were doing it big. We could say the cartel has become what Americans call a transnational criminal organization because they are present in Europe, North America, Central America, and Mexico. And you know, most of that time while this organization was making its bones down there in Mexico, most of the attention was actually on El Chapo. El Chapo was like the, one of the biggest guys down there, but this group right here kept working and working till they became one of the top organizations in Mexico, at least according to these reports. And I think it's really interesting how they supposedly got this ledger out of Mexico. I mean, where they had his name in the ledger, uh, yeah, Freckle Face Sean, he owes this money in Atlanta, Georgia. Like, how did y'all make that connection from a ledger that's down there in Mexico? You know, that's just funny how they put that together. But you never know when it comes to those type of things. You know, I wouldn't trust no ledger that's coming out of Mexico. You gonna bring me something in my case that somebody supposedly wrote down in Mexico? Nah, y'all can just throw that one away. But this is a real big case right here. This is the, the biggest drug bust in Atlanta history. And like I said, if you look at the images of the packages they got out of that house and that apartment, that's a lot of stuff. That's really a lot of heroin to get busted, you know, for these people to bust. And they supposedly charging you with all this dope and drugs and it's an incredible case, you know, and it's, it's the federal go government, so it's not like those state laws where they had to actually catch the, catch you with the drugs. Uh, when it comes to the feds, all they got to say, you had you was intent to do this, or this is a conspiracy, or some type of racketeering law right here. But it's Atlanta, Georgia, you know, they got ballers, hustlers down there. Like I say, this is the trap town right here. Freckle Face Sean, subscribe to this channel. Click that like button and don't forget to click that notification bell. That way you can get notifications whenever I drop an episode. Salute. One love, fam.